graduation day 2007, the day of our first encounter. And although you never met me, you trusted me. Trusted that I keep you safe in ride or die situations. I was more than happy to restrain your fears for as long as you would allow me. As days passed, we grew closer. You shared with me thoughts of intimacy and excitement. I absorbed the secrets, tears, and prayers that fell onto your lap, but I also experienced your rage. And not once, not once did I break under the pressure of you pulling and snatching on me. My duty to protect you became my excuse to hold you. I laced each beat of your heart with security like the presence of your shadow. You just knew I'd be there. We made beautiful music together. See, I was clicking while you were ticking to some old school hip-hop songs, and I remember how you bled those awful melodies until the threads of my soul, but dude, I hung in there. I watched you grow, and although you ignored me from time to time, I was still there for you. We had a few close calls while texting and chit-chatting on the phone, one of which made you aware of my significance, and from then on, from then on, you had no problem with me hanging around, so I worried less about you forgetting me. We became inseparable, stayed strapped, never took any chances on these dangerous streets. Dude, I've been there for you since day one. This is day 1,000, so why am I dying from the hope of living past the memory of embracing you? It's been six weeks since I last held you. Our fibers still reek with the scent of your cologne. I couldn't believe that anything would come between us, but you chose to embrace a spirit you deemed qualified to exalt you. It was your 21st birthday. And the drinks were coming faster than your thoughts. Your friends could hurt you to max out on ignorance. You buckle under pressure, but didn't buckle under me. And although I disapproved of your state of distortion, I hung in there, waiting to be acknowledged. Do you see me? I beg of you, reach out to me. I refuse. I refuse to let this be our last ride, but you couldn't hear me. You couldn't hear me over the blaring sounds of intoxication. The hallucinations began. You swerved to be forget what you thought to be your deceased grandmother. Her own impact of life, your body soared 20 feet above death, and I could no longer protect you. But then I guess you no longer needed me to. It's been six weeks now. So why am I still dying from the hope of living past the memory of embracing you? I really wish you would have trusted me more. Together, we could have held it down, but you left me hanging when we needed each other the most sincerely.